Hello, my name is Josh. I'm the CEO of The Browser Company. We make Arc Browser. We've been secretly prototyping a bunch of ways in which AI can power up the browsing experience. And I wanna get your quick take on one of the ideas we just showed off to our team today. This is an example of what it might look like to bring large language models into Boosts. So in this case, I'm on a website like Twitter and I use our existing selector picker to select a bunch of tweets. And then I tell the model, hey, I want you to write some code to blur the tweet until I hover over it. And we hit enter and we send this to GPT-4. It generates JavaScript. And then we just inject this JavaScript onto the page. And as you can see, it works. And this is a bit of a contrived example because like, there's plenty of things that you can't do in the system, but it's still pretty useful. Here's another really interesting one. So you know, you're probably familiar with how on Amazon, a lot of the product listings are like really keyword spammy and full of crap. What if we could simplify them? So we're gonna pick out the titles of the products and we're actually gonna ask the model to generate code that calls another large language model. And we're gonna ask it to simplify the content of the title. So I put in that prompt, I ask it to generate. And once it's generated, I can run it on the page and you'll see right there in line, we've rewritten all of these, the text of all of these things to my specification, which is kind of cool. It's kind of like general purpose filters on text on any website. You can imagine there's a lot of really fun stuff you can do with this. That's not quite so utilitarian. Okay, so here's the dilemma. It's awesome, right? I mean, I, I, I'm biased, but it just, it makes my mind explode with the possibilities. But the challenge is, We've got a lot of other stuff going on. We're bringing Arc to Windows, we're making Arc faster, we're making Arc more stable, we're making Arc more simple. There's a lot of stuff we're doing at the browser company already, and this would be another new thing. Is it cool enough for us to build it into Arc itself? This is just an internal prototype, it works, but it's, it's not ready for the limelight. It would take a bunch of work to do that. Is that worth the time? And, and it's not just about being cool. Is it super useful? Like. What would you do with this every day if we release these text filters? Uh, and, 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 the, and the bar needs to be really high because this stuff is super expensive. Uh, you know, AI, AI features today are really, really expensive to build. And look, we'll foot the cost if it really changes the way you use the internet, but it's unclear to me if demos like these are useful uh, and if so, for what? And if so, how useful and how frequently? So I'm curious, hit me up in the comments, uh, tweet at us, however you wanna reach out, let us know, should we build this? And if so, what you would boost, what you would, what, what text filters you'd wanna apply and what you'd wanna do with it. So thanks for checking it out and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you wanna see more stuff like this.